Welcome to Everything Security, I'm Gus Naufer. In this video, we will talk about vulnerability assessment. What is vulnerability assessment? A vulnerability is simply a weakness or loophole in any computing environment such as a flaw in hardware architecture. It could be a simple logic error in the program or just a misconfigured network stack. An assessment that can tell us about the vulnerabilities in our computing environment and their magnitude is known as vulnerability assessment. Vulnerability assessment could be of different types such as administrative, physical or technical. A review on organizational policies, its standards and guidelines to figure out a loophole would fall in the administrative vulnerability assessment. In assessing the weakness in physical environments such as the building structure and entrance or simply lighting conditions on the campus will be considered as physical assessment. But we will focus mostly on technical vulnerability assessment in the present context. Okay, but why do we do vulnerability assessment? Well, the answer is simple. When an organization does business, it wants to make sure everything runs smoothly in order to make good profits. So it is important that the organization knows its weaknesses and gets them fixed before they bring in harmful impacts and results in loss. To assess that very risk of the loss, organizations perform vulnerability assessment. And in the worst case, when an attacker decides to attack an organization or individual, they might perform a vulnerability assessment against their computing environment in order to know the weak point that can be attacked. How do we carry out vulnerability assessment? There are scanning tools available that perform the vulnerability scan on the network comprising a variety of devices, operating systems and applications, etc. Once connected to your network, and allow to perform this scan, these tools start probing your assets using TCP, UDP, ICMP queries, scripts, and other mechanisms. It gathers responses from hardware, software, network stack, and so on. Matches them to its knowledge base, known as CVE, or Common Vulnerabilities and Exposures. In a nutshell, it figures out everything from OS version details to which application has a backdoor and it tells you about ports that are open and services that are running to welcome a threat. What are the next steps after vulnerability assessment? Once your vulnerability scan is completed, you would want to get your guys, get them fixed, and that's when the reports talk. These popular tools often allow you to create different types of reports based on your scanning and audience. Once you worked on the right template, your top management gets the spreadsheet in a language they understand and technical team in a language they understand. No conflicts and chaos. Thank you for watching my video. We'll see you in the next piece.